In a bid to contain illegal trading and quell supply shortages, the Sri Lankan government has ended price control on essential food items. Now, this comes amid a foreign currency crisis in the country. Shortage in foreign currency has caused recession in Sri Lanka. This, in turn, has triggered shortages of food, medicines and other essential goods. In a hope that it would increase supplies, the government has decided to free prices for essential goods like milk powder, wheat flour, sugar and LPG. But officials worry that the prices could rise by almost 37 percent with the new decision. The Lankan government had declared a state of emergency over the food shortages and imposed rationing on the 31st of August, even though the move saw a virtual withdrawal of private players from the market. The plan backfired as farmers were forced to sell their rice to state agency and people were forced to buy the rest from private warehouses. Unable to control the worsening shortages, authorities lifted the price curve on rice last week. The price of rice has been surging ever since. Similarly, there was a surge in black marketing of pulses and sugar. Now, the Sri Lankan economy shrank by a record 3.6% last year. This is the coronavirus pandemic brought a halt to the key tourism industry and the government banned imports of non-essential goods, including vehicles, spare parts and appliances in March of 2020 because of currency shortages. Sri Lanka's foreign reserves stood at $3.55 billion at the end of August. It has to repay about $2 billion in foreign debts before the end of the year. Our correspondent, Dasuni Atora, has sent us a report from Colombo for more on this story. Sri Lanka today lifted price controls of essential food items, including that of sugar, wheat flour, milk powder, and even liquid petroleum gas, in a bid to stop the existing black market from thriving. Now, Sri Lanka's food prices have seen a dramatic increase ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, which has also been a byproduct of Sri Lanka's existing forex crisis. That's not all. State officials have insisted traders not to resort to higher prices and unscrupulous profits during this time. However, price increases show that there is an increase in more than 35 percent in some goods, especially that of milk powder in the market at the moment. Sri Lanka's forex crisis is still ongoing and the CBSL recently did release 50 million US dollars for traders to release their stocks that are currently held at the Colombo port in a bid to drive down prices. Now, just on the 31st of August this year, emergency regulations were passed in a bid to control the ongoing food crisis and food emergency. And that's the latest from here in Colombo. Reporting for We On World Is One, I'm Dasmi Atalga. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.